Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. You know all my struggles. You know what? All right, man. So growing up, I got to ask you, who are some of your favorite players? Uh, some of my favorite players growing up, you know, I'm a Denver kid. So uh, watching Larry Walker, Vinny Castilla, who I got it, who is around our clubhouse every single day when we're at home. Dante Bichette, Todd Helton, uh, those are those are my idols growing up. Uh, and you know the fact that I get to be with Vinny now with the Rockies is awesome. Also, I got to play with uh, Fargo and Chris Ionetta for uh, uh, two years each. So uh, those are the guys that I watched when I was in high school, and be able to share the field with them and go to the playoffs with them was unbelievable for me. So I do this question called Mount Rushmore. We're gonna break this up in two. Pretty sure you probably seen it on social media, but. I'm assuming with those names that you just named, that would be your Rockies, Mount Rushmore. Uh, is it different? Because, I mean, Todd Heldon, the guys that you named are pretty up there. Vinny Castillo, those guys. But if you did a Rockies, Mount Rushmore, what would it be? Rockies, Mount Rushmore for me would be Larry Walker, Todd Heldon, Vinny Castillo, Nolan Arenado. That's four. That's it. That's it. That's four. it. Yeah, that's, that's probably, that's probably that's it right there. That's a strong four. That's a strong four. Yeah. So being a pitcher, I got to ask you this, man. If you did the Mount Rushmore for pitchers, and that's throughout baseball, you can do current and even mix in some past guys. Who would be the four that you put in the Mount Rushmore for that? Nolan Ryan, Sandy Koufax, Jacob DeGrom, mm. Shohei Otani. That's a tough, wow, that's a tough, that's a, that's a tough four. <laughs> so the WBC. Can you just talk about just not only being a player, but just being a fan of it? how that was for you it was it was really cool i, I got a the first time I, I saw it was uh you know first or second year in the league uh no one went and played in it so i got to kind of watch it from afar and then when i was selected to be on the team this year um you know obviously some i, I get to put on my resume for the rest of my life and I, I have bonds with those guys for the rest of my life and get to play against them you know here and there throughout the league but being able to watch how big of a deal it was for the world to watch baseball and grow this game was absolutely awesome. I mean, the, the records we broke in, in attendance and viewership and the passion that guys had for their country was, you know, above and beyond what baseball, you know, really is. And you, you got to see that out on the field with, with guys representing their countries and showing their true love for uh, where they're from. See, the, I think the thing that's important, I got to ask you this, man, you know, obviously we, USA, we did come up short, but I felt like we put the, the world on notice as well. Like, hey, we are going to compete for this at a high level. That ending, that's like a movie script. Like, I'm not going to say you were part of the movie. We're going <laughs> to allege that. But that's a movie script type ending. I mean, you get Trav versus Otani. For you watching that, how was that to be there on the field and see that? It, you know, man, it, it's like you said. It, it's like it was almost scripted. Um, for, for it to be a one-run ball game, ninth inning, World Baseball Classic Championship, two of the best players who are teammates going against one another with two outs, came down to a full count. Uh, it was it was perfect. And, and to be able to be in the dugout and watch that unfold, obviously it came out on the end that we didn't want it to come out on. Uh, it was awesome. I mean, Shohei Trout, power pitcher, power bat, two of the best players that will ever play this game, uh, at least in my generation. It was incredible to see. Okay, cool. I got to ask you this then. So I'm a gamer. I'm not for sure if you are, but the first time you saw yourself on MLB The Show, what did you think? I, you know, it, pretty crazy. I, mean, I, I was uh, I was young in the league, so I'm not a big video gamer. I'll, I'll tell you that right now. Uh, but it, it's pretty cool to you know, see yourself and see your attributes, see your statistics up there, and you know, watch yourself play a video game uh, when you know that you're playing this thing in real life. I like that, I like that, I like that. So I'm looking at this Rockies team. It's a mixture of young and got a couple of vets on this team. Can you talk about the potential of this team? Because I feel like you guys are right at the middle, and I feel like maybe a hot run changed that. You guys are staying even kill on that. So can you talk about the potential of this team? You know, uh, we've changed quite a bit from spring training. Uh, we, you know, it, no excuses, but we, we've been dealt a pretty crappy hand uh, throughout, you know, spring training and, uh, and the start of this year with all the injuries that we've had. But uh, we've continued to power through. Um, and that's what I love about this team is, you know, we haven't we haven't used that as an excuse and, and we keep playing baseball and been putting together a really good May so far. So with the young guys that we've called up, they've, you know, taken the reins immediately and, and they've shown what they uh, what they can prove. And from a veteran status like myself, Charlie, Mac, 
you know, we got new stocks on the team. We get, we got guys that know what it takes to win. So we're trying to instill that into these young guys and let them know, like, hey, even though we're banged up and we got key guys who are hurt or out for the season, we're going to keep playing ball and we're going to try and win, win games. I love it. Last question. So I do this thing called walk-up music, right? So you know, like, how the relievers are having all these cool lights out, things and stuff like that. But let's just say we're going to fast forward to the next WBC. And they got to say, you know what, Kyle, we need you to come in in the bottom of the ninth. We got we to gotta, we gotta figure this out. Somehow, someway, you have to come in. Your walk-up song is named after you to the mound. You can pick any artist that allowed to do that song. Who would you want to do that song? Uh, Machine Gun Kelly. Wow, Machine Gun Kelly, one time for Ohio. Machine Gun <laughs> Kelly. Okay. Well, I like that answer, man. Well, keep doing your thing out there. And congratulations on the WBC, man. We'll be talking again soon. Okay. Appreciate, Appreciate you. you. Yeah. That was it. That was it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah.